everyone, it's Morgan from For the Love of Paper and I am here with part two for May of my project life for this year. And um, if you've watched my previous video, you see I did a sunset in that um, video as well. So this is the adjoining page. So the two sunsets were set um, together in the middle of the two page spring. Um, that one was actually taken out of the window of the car on the way to my in-laws house one evening and it was just really really pretty um there was actually a couple of fires burning they were back burning so it was all safe but it just made the sky look this really pretty orangey yellow color like not the typical bright orange red that you normally see in a sunset um and it was it was really really nice so I snapped a photo out the window and it's actually because the windscreen was quite dirty the photo itself is not that clear but you can't tell too much in a um, small 4 by 6 photo luckily and this and I don't I'm oh, sorry I don't do anything to that photo it is just is what it is like that I don't put any embellishments on that one and then the photo that I'm working on at the moment is a photo of uh, Sam and Frank in front of this giant uh, dragon statue that was um, in town they had a um, like a medieval fantasy um, fair market thingy it wasn't very big it was just you know it was only in our little town square and um, but this this huge dragon was there so they had their photo taken in front of that and I wanted Sam to sit up on the little stage part but he, he didn't want to he wanted daddy to be in the photo with him so that's what that one is and I have I think I might have done a layout on that one I'm not sure if I have posted that or not if I have I will um, pop the link in the description below if I have if not it might be coming you never know surprises around every corner um, and I just wanted to put um, a tag in there with all the information on it and because this is side by side to the previous layout that I did I had used a lot of yellow on that page so I was kind of trying to keep to the theme of those yellow colors so the pages sort of were cohesive next to each other but then I decided maybe I'll put some red in it because the dino the dinosaur the dragon was red um, yeah I had quite a struggle <laughs> working out which label I could put in there I quite like that one and I think I quite liked one of those red ones but I do end up sticking with the the yellowy mustardy colored um, tag I think that was from a simple stories collection or they made up little um, the sticker packs that's what I'm trying to think of label sticker packs that was one of theirs so I just filled out the information and that one and popped it in there I mean I'm pretty sure I'm gonna remember who they are in years to come and anyone that's looking at my album is most likely going to know who they are so it, it felt kind of silly writing their names in there but the spot was there so I'll just fill it in and then I just added a little um, red arrow on there to tie in the red from the photo and this is a photo of um, two guys doing some Fencing. They had um, quite a big group of them, and I know I had seen this group before at the um, at another medieval festival that where there's a really really big festival um, about an hour and a half away every year, and these were the same group of people from there. So I had seen a lot of these these men, oh, and there was a couple of women doing the sword fighting before, and it, it's really neat to watch. It's quite a cool sport. I don't know that I could ever do it, but um, they, they, they certainly like to enjoy it and they kind of do a bit of a role play while they're doing it um, which is kind of fun to watch so we uh, watched them for a while doing their thing and ooh, some washi tape I don't think I've ever had all my washi tape out like that <laughs> in one of my um, videos before but there's my washi tape collection everybody um, I don't really have that much not as much as some but probably more than others so there you go and I do do I do two layers of the washi tape because it's quite see-through um, it's got 
a white, sorry, not a white, a clear pattern through it. Um, and it just didn't, it wasn't, I don't know, solid enough for me. So I did two layers um, of it to sort of make the colour stand out a little bit more. And of course it's not exactly centred, so I have to change it around. In typical Morgan style, can't just be right the first time. And I think I put a piece at the bottom as well. Oh, that was my journaling. Oh, that's right, I was going to stick the journaling to the bottom of the photo, but then I decided to um, just use another piece of washi. And I just used some tiny alphas and put the word fencing in there. It didn't really need much more of an explanation. I'd already um, written where we were and when on that other little label so it kind of just all the photos were next to each other so it was pretty self-explanatory it was at the same uh, event I can't believe how many of these little stickers I've got some of them have actually lost their stick like they just I pick up a packet and all the letters fall to the bottom but they're not sticky at all anymore so I have thrown a few of them out but and I don't think they make them anymore. Last time I went to the Kaiser Craft shop um, in Brisbane, they didn't have any at all. Um, I hope they haven't got rid of them because that's one thing I actually do buy from there. Because they're so teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, they're only probably two, three centimeters wide, if that. And they're just perfect for project life because you can fit <laughs> quite a few words in across the card. So I really hope that they haven't discontinued them or they do bring out something else. I'm going to have to go and have a look one of these days when I get down there. It used to be really handy when I lived five minutes up the road from it. But now I live an hour away and I don't have a car. So I don't get to get over there very often. But I will I'll make an effort to, to go and get some more, I think. And this was a selfie for my Sunday selfies and I'm not sure if you can tell from that picture but we were at Ikea. Um, it was, um, I'm not sure what we went there for. I don't actually think we went there for anything in particular other than I think we went for a drive and ended up in that sort of vicinity and decided to pop in. And we bought a, oh, I don't remember what we bought, we bought a table for eight dollars. I mean can't you can't walk past a table for eight dollars and not buy it it's just ridiculous and since then I've actually been back last week when my father was over and I bought another eight dollar table so now we have two eight dollar tables and I finally got to use um, some of these studio calico um, they're kind of puppy ish stickers but they're plastic like like hard plastic kind of like a vinyl puppy sticker if that makes sense um I finally got to use some of those I bought them a while ago and it sort of fitted there with I Heart Ikea because well I do I do like that shop I really do and I quite like the food there too it's always good for a, a four dollar breakfast hash browns eggs sausages bacon um tomatoes I think you get four dollars you can't even beat that ridiculous I don't even know how they do it for that price or it just goes to show how much markup other restaurants put on their food um, that's my rant about Ikea I will uh, go back to the layout now uh, this was a photo of Sam doing a dress up he had a dress up day at home he didn't go anywhere but I think he tried on every costume that he had and was doing all different things it was quite fun and I love this card I really really like this card and I wanted to use the green um, in it I wanted that to show but it just looked funny having him off to the side so a really really simple card photo in the middle and one um, puppy sticker on the side that says smile and that was from um, Coco Vanilla Studios can't remember what the collection is called though but I, I really like how that card turned out for something so simple and easy a photo and an embellishment was really cool. Um, that card there, the places visited, I will um, put my type out my journaling on my typewriter and put that in there. And going through to choose one more um, filler card. I 
come on, which one I get? Oh, that one, the yellow one. Let's go with the yellow theme, and that was from a Blinks of Life kit from last year. And as you can see, that is my layer almost done. I do put, um, I do embellish that card off to the left. I'm pretty sure I put a, an end sign in there. So I was just going through, I knew I had seen um, a couple of large ampersands, there we go, those two, in one of the collections. So I was just going through trying to find them. And then I was seeing if there was anything else that I could put there. And then of course, me being me, again, um, I wanted to see if I could find a better one, a better um, end, end sign. I couldn't, and I do end up using that one. I think it was from the Jan Hadfield collection. Um, that one that I do end up using. Yeah, that one was just too glittery and too black. Um, or too dark for the rest of the layer. Um, so I stuck that on there. And I think I found some other stickers to put on there. Um, they are, oh, that's right. It says here and now um, the other sticker that I put on there. But I really liked the sticker and I really liked the words here and now, but the green was just, ugh. I still put it on there and I'm, I've just got the layout out and it does really stick out like a sore thumb, those two little green bits. Um, but whatever, it works. And that is this layout done, guys. So I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.